Hopefully it doesn't freeze again. If it does, join me on you on Instagram or on Facebook. All right, so um, thank you guys for dropping emojis for that. In case you're just joining me, my name is Julia Crystal. I am the artist behind allforreborns.com. Um, and I create lifelike baby dolls that bring joy to people all over the world. They're in homes all over the world. Um, I want to talk to you. Let me share with you guys what I'm taking to the doll show. So, and actually what I've been working on. The horrible thing is how bad this lighting is in here tonight. So I'm like, if you want to see them for real, for real, um, I'll try to be live on Friday earlier in the day when the lighting's better. But this is, um, this is a magnet, if you're wondering why this dot's on his head. But this is Little Baby Knight. Um, I had a request to recreate him. And he just got his hairs all painted. And this is for a special Aunt Mommy. She cracks me up. So there's your baby if you're watching. And he's, um, he's just about ready to get assembled, so... If I can get him all done for the doll show, I plan to take um, about about four to six babies. I want to have a couple for sale, but I do want to have some for display so I can get some private orders and some custom orders. And then this is a baby who I've had for a while, but she's kind of like my stowaway baby. Like, I don't really share her. She is for sale, but she's not for sale, but she is for sale, but she's not for sale, but she is for sale, but she's not for sale. <laughs> So, um, and this is little Uzo. Some of you guys remember her. You guys really impressed me with how well you remember my dolls. Um, but yeah, little Uzo has painted hair. And then I decided to give her rooted hair, but I, I just never finished. So let me see if YouTube, if Instagram, if Facebook can see. Her hair is not brushed right now. As I don't want it to be combi, I want it to be just like, combi all over and right now it's just combi on top so if i don't have time to finish her i might display her at the um at the phoenix doll show but i really like her because she's one of my dark skin babies and i like when i go to doll shows i like to display um all of the skin tones that i can create because i i feel like that's something that's different like i can create a variety of skin tones and i like to showcase that because a lot of people um, don't see that so um, she's one of my darker skin tones I kind of want to keep her around but she might be for sale but I don't know and then this is my silicone baby his he does have stuff on his face because silicone attracts stuff so um, try to ignore that he's got like fuzz on him right now but this is my silicone cuddle baby Makai wait and his eyes are not okay his eyes aren't glued in <laughs> but he's not looking that crazy right now and this is my silicone cuddle baby, Makai. Say hi, little baby. Say hi. He looks kind of creepy with his neck like that. Eh. And this is the baby that I sculpted from... You can't see him on YouTube. On Instagram, it's that head right there. And on Facebook, it's that head right there. So I actually made this doll from clay. And then I created a silicone mold and then I cast him into silicone and I'm really happy with his um the inside of his mouth because I really worked super hard to get it to look the way I want it he doesn't have like gums or a tongue or anything like that but it's just really smooth and and it's like a nice pink color in there and looks really cool he can take a pacifier and he is available on my website allforreborns.com he's a silicone cuddle baby and honestly, if you come to the um, Phoenix Doll Show and I have him, I'm not sure because he doesn't have hair yet. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to finish before the show. But because um, it took me a while. his I, I was having some issues with his mouth, getting his mouth right. So it took me a little longer to make him than I, than I wanted to. But if you ever get a chance at a doll show to hold one of my silicone cuddle babies, don't sleep on the cuddle babies, you guys. Oh. Thank you, babe. You're going to hold it like that. Oh, that's, 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 oh, my mug. Look at what babe brought me. Oh. I begged for this for Mother's Day last year. <laughs> I was like, I need a mug that says world's best mom. It's a smoothie. Um, we, we drink a lot of smoothies and ginger smoothies. Thanks, babe. Um, so what was I talking about? 
Um, oh, cuddle babies. If you get a chance to hold a cuddle baby, don't sleep on the cuddle babies, you guys. They are the ultimate feel like a real baby to me because like, especially with the cuddle baby, when you hold the head, it's just so floppy and then the body is so, um, just like, so, like, it's like a teddy bear, but with like a baby's head, if that makes any sense. I love it. It's amazing. So anyway, he's on my website. That's Makai. Um, who else am I taking to the doll show? I'm going to have a giveaway baby there. I plan to give away a Playborn on my Playborn. Not sure which one, maybe Navaya or Daisy. And I have some babies that I have never shown that will be possibly for sale there. And then I might be getting rid of a baby from my collection there. So yeah, I really wanted to have a mini silicone baby created, but at this point I just don't think it's like realistic for me to even try to do that. Like there's not enough hours in a day. Hey, what's up? CC, hey, what's up, Elia, Chrislyn, thank you guys for joining me. Um, and then let's see, Alexis says, is there any free giveaways every month? Um, this last year I did a reborn giveaway every month. I'm not so sure if this year I'm gonna do it every month, but I do plan to do giveaways. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a reborn every month because um, last year I did them where you had to have like an entry fee, and so this. I'm moving away from that and I'm doing it for free so I am having one this month though and it's a reborn Uriah she's one of my most popular dolls she's so cute I'm gonna make myself one to keep and I plan to have her at doll shows this year so everybody can see her because she's cute I just didn't have time so but yeah if you want to enter the giveaway you can go to um allforreborns.com at the top of the page go to uh special promotions and then you just scroll down and you can enter to win. You enter to win by joining my newsletter. And um, another way is just go to bit.ly forward slash free reborn. Bit.ly forward slash free reborn. bit.ly forward slash free reborn. Man, if I win her, I'll try painting her hair. Aww. Well, she's already going to have hair. Or did I say she's going to be bald? I don't remember. <laughs> I gotta go back and see the video of what I said. But I am gonna be having a tutorial coming out soon, CC. So be on the lookout for that. I know a lot of people hit me in my DM saying that they wanted to learn how to paint. So I had a whole course last year, and I'll be bringing that back this year where I do like tu tutoring and coaching and even some one on ones to help you guys learn how to make your baby. Learn how to have a baby. <laughs> Yay! All right, guys, let me see what else am I supposed to be talking about here. I think that's it, guys. So if you're just joining, um, my name is Julia Crystal. I am the doll artist behind allforreborns.com. Oh, thank you, Forever Mills. Um, wow. <laughs> like, I don't have my glasses on. Um, so, But anyway, um, yes, I make lifelike dolls that are um, all over the world, and they bring joy to homes everywhere so i just love what i do hey what's up billy's hey what's up what's up angelique thank you you have one of my babies um so i am pulling a late night tonight because i'm still painting but oh let me show you guys i just really wish my lighting was better up in here this is a baby of a like every week i try to complete at least like three or four of my private orders and so this is one of my private orders um, and this is a little chubby, chubby girl, and the lighting is making her look like, like so washed out. But this is my little um, Aubrey. She's gonna have painted hair. She's such a chunker. That's that's her limbs right here. You can't you can see her on Facebook, but look at her thighs, guys. She's got super chunky, chunky legs. So yeah, I'm excited. I think I'm going to display her at the doll show. I should be able to finish painting her hair. And I've actually changed my hair painting technique recently. And I really like what I've been doing. You're not going to be able to see it in this lighting. But I was, um, I was using a comb brush. Like a, my brushes need to be cleaned and like reconditioned. So they're a little bent right now. But um, a comb brush has like multiple bristles on it like this. 
I have started using it. And then this is kind of like one I, I kind of made. But then, I don't know. I'm always changing stuff with my art and trying something new. And so, this is my big old paint jar here. Um, I went back to using just a single brush. And I like that a lot better now. So, I think I started out using a single brush. And then I switched to a comb brush. And now I'm back to a single brush again. And then another baby I'm working on is this one here. This is going to be, I don't want to show her. I'm going to wait because I, I want to show her at the, doll, at the doll show. She's like my new release. So I'm going to just wait. She will be available for private order. And I already have some people who have seen her who want to put an order already. She cute, y'all. And then this is one of my private orders um, that I'm working on. This is little Ivy. Ivy. It's hard to see in this lighting, but she does have her, her flesh skin tone. I worked on that today. I worked on a little bit of detailing on her. I really don't have... I'm really about almost... I guess I could say I'm at a three... Uh, a one quarter's work on her. Hopefully, I can finish her up. Um, I was hoping to have her done by the doll show too, but I have to root her head. And I just don't think I'm going to be able to do that before the doll show. And then, who else am I, am I working on? Oh, I'm going to be working on an Alafia. Hopefully, I'll start on her tomorrow. And yeah, those are my private orders for the week. So, um, people always say, like, how do you do it? How do you... Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Cece. Check out the silicone tip brushes. Okay. Let me write that down. You always give me good ideas. Let me write that down. That's how I do stuff too, guys. If I don't write stuff down, I'll forget. I write down everything. Um, so people always say, like, how do you do it? How do you, um, how do you do all the things you do? But, um, number one, shout out to that guy up there for the gifts and talents he's given me. Um, that's number one. And, uh, number two, I just, I do not have everything together. Don't think for one second I do. Uh, yeah, <laughs> if you saw my studio about, uh, two hours ago, <laughs> hey, I did come in here and do a big sweep clean of it, but it's always like crazy, especially when I'm packing dolls. It looks like, like a tornado just follows me wherever I go. That's what it looks like by the time I'm done. Like everywhere I go is like the tornado's just jacking up my room. Um, but yeah, I always just do first things first, um, I think I learned that, like, in in my 20s, I heard, like, somebody say that, do first things first, and so I just take care of what's most important, and so even though I'm working on the doll show, I still know I have my private orders, so I pace myself to work on that, and I just I try to pace myself to do what I can when I can, and, um, you know, that's what I do. Uh, Forever Mel says, do you still have winter? Yes, I do still have winter. Um, I'm not sure if she's going to be at the doll show and I don't know, like I like to take her with me to the doll show, but when I took her, like, especially like to the Rose doll show, she kind of became like a distraction because so many people wanted to see her and take pictures with her, kind of like blocking people from, you know, looking at my work. Cause you know, I am an artist. I want y'all to buy some of my work. You know, if you want a baby doll that's authentic, come on over to allforreborns.com. But yeah, so Winter kind of has her own little limelight too. So I'm trying to figure out the balance of having her and then also, um, you know, selling my art at the same time. But yeah, I still got Winter. She was in a video last week on my YouTube channel. Yep. Do you guys have any other questions? I know it's late. It's only 10 o'clock where I am, so I'm awake. I used to be asleep at this time, but when summer hit, um, my kids uh, being out of school, it's like I don't even know how to wake up with an alarm clock anymore. It's horrible, you guys. I used to get up at 5.30 without an alarm last year. 5.30 a.m. without an alarm. That's how I was so productive. And then when summer hit and we were staying up later and later and later, I need to relearn how to wake up to an alarm. <laughs> That's how bad it is. 
It's so bad. Um, what kind of product do you use in your gorgeous hair? Oh, thank you, girl. Um, I use just oil, like olive oil. Um, probably just, uh, what is in my hair right now? Uh, I'm like drawing a blank. When I wash my hair, I leave the conditioner in there. I found that works best for me than putting in leave-in, so I try to do that most of the time. And uh, sometimes I use Eco Styler Gel, but most of the time, yeah, it's just oil and, and conditioner left in my hair. Oh, all right. Have fun. Oh, have fun with your fur babies. They're so cute. He has cool dogs. All right, you guys, over here on Facebook land. Oh, all the comments were, were stopped. Okay, I didn't see all you guys over here on Facebook. You heard of Cuddle Baby works good for anxiety. I think that all the Reborns can be really therapeutic. Um, and I think that especially like a Cuddle Baby is at a, a lower price point. If you're looking for a doll that's at a lower price point, Playborns and Cuddle Babies are like an excellent way to, to get in there. And I think what people are kind of sleeping on right now is Snuggle Babies. Well, that's what I call them. It's the babies that have the one-fourth limbs. Um... I really want to make more of those. I have one on my table right now that I'm probably going to work on here in the next month. But the Snuggle Baby have the one-fourth limbs and the one-fourth um, limbs on their legs too. And when you pick them up, they flop like a silicone baby. That is the closest thing that a reborn baby can get to a full-body silicone. And a lot of people don't think that because of how the cloth covers up so much of the body and everybody wants you know, the realism and the look. But if you're talking about the realism and the feel, a snuggle baby feels like a full body silicone, you guys. And everybody who I've sold a snuggle baby to has loved it and wanted another one. They all have loved the snuggle baby. So don't sleep on the snuggle babies, you guys. Don't sleep on them. So yeah, Andrea, that's kind of... um. I call them snuggle babies. Some people call them cuddle babies when they have the one for limbs. But I don't know. Just in my mind, I like to differentiate what they are. That's the teacher in me. Um, I want to know more about purchasing one. I have a brand new granddaughter on the way. I want this to be her first baby doll. Okay, um, Kim, Carrie Carson. You can go to my website, allforreborns.com. Or you can message me here. If you go to my website, I have all of my pricing information there. Um, or, you know, you can message me to ask questions and things like that. And you guys, I also have a phone on my uh, for my website. It's on my website. It's on my Instagram and my Facebook as well. I do not mind jumping on a call with you guys to um, talk about your purchase. If you're over 18, of course. Um... Okay, Esther says, which doll shows will I be at this year? The first one coming up is this Saturday in Phoenix AZ. It's actually in Chandler AZ, I'm sorry. And it's called the Doll and Friends um, Doll and Friends Doll Club of AZs. It's their 24th annual show. It's this Saturday the 26th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the St. Catherine's Greek Orthodox Community Center. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that. St. Catherine's Greek Orthodox Community Center. And then I have other doll shows I'm doing too. I kind of wanted to hold off on talking about them because I don't want to confuse people. But since it's just us in here, <laughs> it's just us in here right now. Um, I'm excited because I'm going to Canada, y'all. Yeah, me and my mama, we going to Canada. These Mississippians going to be up in Canada. <laughs> So we're excited about that. I'm going to London, Ontario, um, and I will be at the IAC Doll Show. We're going to have a fabulous time. I'm actually teaching a tutorial, a painting class for parents and children, which is just like right up my alley because I'm a teacher. I taught middle school and high school, and I'm so excited to be working with families again. Um, so I'll be talking more about that. Yeah, Savannah, come on, girl. You live in Canada. You got to come through, girl. They said they're going to give everybody who comes a great time. I believe them. They are so nice and they've been so welcoming to me. So 
I'll start talking about that more next week. I just didn't really want to confuse people talking about uh, two shows. And I'll also be at the same shows I was at last year. I'll be at the Rose Doll show in, I think it's in July. And I will be at the Kansas Doll show in Wichita, Kansas in, uh, I don't want to mess with the date. I think it's August. And then there's another doll show in Phoenix. Usually it's in October. I'll be there. And we're not sure where else I'll be. I really want to do something for, I, I said last year I was going to do something for the Phoenix Aunt Mommies and Uncle Paws. And so I went to the doll show and I'm doing more doll shows this year. But I still want to do something like a reborn something or the other to bring people together in Phoenix specifically for reborn baby dolls. So I don't know what it is. And it could be like if you're in Phoenix, Texas, Denver, Nevada, California, you know, you're close enough to come on over. Come on over and have some fun with us. So, Oh, awesome. Congratulations, Esther. I was kind of thinking about IDTS, but I'm not really sure. It's so close to the other doll shows that I kind of feel like I have to pick and choose. But I wish you the best of luck. Last year, me and my daughters just went out and kind of looked at everything, and it, there were some amazing dolls there. I have a video of it on my YouTube. No, I have a video of it on my IGTV. A lot of people don't know about that video, but I vlogged our whole trip to IDTS last year. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's a fun show. It's a lot of different type of dolls, not just reborn dolls. And there's a lot of talented people, too. What's up, love? Bori Bori. Hey, KK Turkey. Hey, Savage Serenity. Hey, Maya. All right, you guys. Um, does anybody have any more questions? I don't want to just be rambling. I was supposed to be painting. <laughs> oh, thank you, Savage Serenity. I'm in my nighttime clothes. Um... Hi, I'm looking for a reborn baby doll. What good websites do you think is good for getting an adorable doll? Well, Savannah, you happen to be in the right place. You can head on over to allforreborns.com where you can see all my beautiful and adorable baby dolls. And they're also affordable. She said, I meant affordable, not adorable. But girl, you want it to be affordable and adorable. <laughs> you don't just want affordable. You want adorable and affordable. I like that adorable and affordable and I got you go on over there um my prices start at $1.95 for my playborns and go up from there so I, I feel like I have something for uh, most people's budgets and I also take layaway so I have flexible payment plans check it out 18 and over have your parents check it out with you and then you can contact me um if you're under 18 I have Four questions you have not answered okay ask it again Apple because I'm switching through different screens are you guys over here on YouTube I have not seen a question but I see people in here are you guys in the room okay she said what paints do you need when you're a starting artist where do you get them from? Okay, that all the information will be in my tutorial, Fun with Reborn. So you want to be on the lookout for that. It will be coming out soon. Make sure you have your notifications turned on on Instagram. Um, because Instagram does some weird stuff sometimes. Like if you don't look at a page's post often, they don't show you stuff. So you'll miss out. Just make sure you turn on your notifications. Um, I got you. All the information is going to be in my tutorial. I'll tell you what paints I use how I mix them, where to get them, all that good stuff. Um, aw, Kimberly. Find a way for me to come to Springfield and I'll come. There's a show out there that'll have me. Um, oh, cool, Esther. I'm looking forward to meeting you too. We had fun in Kansas last year. Oh, 
Okay, cool. Thanks, Fun with Reborns. You're welcome, Savannah. Let me know if you have any questions. Hey, what's up, Mia? How do you take your mohair? Oh, mohair. Okay, <laughs> I was like, what? Um, <clears throat> I'm actually planning on making some more care videos. Um, but with mohair, I, I just feel like with my Reborns personally, I try to, she wants to know how to take care of the mohair. Um, I personally try to not do a ton of styling because they are um, collectible doll. They're highly collectible art dolls. And even though, like, I feel like things will be okay if I style it, I just feel like after I spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a doll, um, you know, I don't want to risk anything happening to it. But if you want to style your doll's hair, all you need is spray bottle with water. And then I like to use a toothbrush if it's like just like brushable hair or if it's like combable hair. Like if it's thicker, you want to use like a wide tooth comb because mohair, if you Google Angora goat, Angora goat, you'll see what mohair originally looks like. It's like super, super curly, super curly hair. And so that means it has a tendency to tangle. And so if you start spraying all on that mohair, the tendency is that it's going to tangle up. So you just want to be really gentle. I've seen people in videos combing their doll's hair and then, and it is glued in on the inside of the head, but it's just glue. So if you're yanking hard enough, you'll yank that hair right out. So I would just recommend um, water spray, um, put conditioner on it, and then just leave it on it just a little bit. And I'm not talking a lot, just like a little, little bit of natural conditioner some people use mohair conditioner, rub it on there, and I, I leave it in personally because I feel like it just helps to keep it soft. And yeah, um, but I'll, I'll try to come out with the video. I think, I feel like I might already have a video, but I don't remember. I have a lot of videos. I have like six or 700 videos on YouTube. Um, what do you do if your reborn's hair is falling out? Um, you probably gonna have to have it rerouted, and I don't know. I know I don't reroute um, other people's work, so I would contact your original artist about that. Um, okay, she said I was in a YouTube live and we weren't getting noticed as much as Instagram. YouTube live, I don't know what's happening, but I'm not seeing any comments. So I think YouTube is just having some issues tonight. I'm sorry, y'all. Woo, woo, woo. I love y'all. <laughs> but woo, woo, woo. All right. Um, I think that I'm going to get out of here. I've been on here almost an hour. I will be back tomorrow with another video on YouTube. I hope. Um, thank you guys for being flexible with me and coming to hang out with me late at night because I had a crazy day today. And on Friday, I'm hoping to come back during the day around lunchtime here, um, hopefully around 11 or 12 to do a live video. I'm in Arizona, so I'm on Arizona time. We never spring forward. We never fall back. We're always at the same time. So it's like 1025 here right now. So I'm probably behind most of you guys, unless you're on the on the West Coast with me. Um, and yeah, the doll show's on Saturday. I'm looking forward to that, and I'll do a video about it as well. So thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget about the doll show on Saturday. It's at uh, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the South at the Saint Catherine's Greek Orthodox Church in Chandler, AZ. Go to my website, allforreborns.com. Scroll down and you will see the address there. Don't forget to sign up for the mini reborn, the mini playborn and mini silicone baby doll club. It's limited to only four months a year and it's only five people who are going to be invited to those things. Not invited, but first come first serve. And that's at patreon.com. P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash all for reborns. You can DM me if you're over 18 and you want more info. Or you can go to my website, allfreeborns.com. Click on special promos and info's right there. 
and yeah guys that's it thank you for watching everybody peace and love i have fun with you guys all right oh you're in australia it's 4 50 okay bye sonia all right bye you guys love you too fun with reborns oh you're lucky Saturday.